Hey traders, happy new week, happy new week. Hope you guys are using this weekend to big test, to forward test, and to most of all prepare for the new in the last week of November 2024. This is your boy Halem, KCOT, and we back with another video. Today's video will be our weekly trading outlook, just keeping it short, just keeping it simple, just keeping it legit, and most of all, it's really simple to you guys. You guys know that every weekend we're uploading our weekly trading outlooks. If you are new to our channel, I appreciate having you as our new family member. I look forward to winning with you and to being far and prosperous with you. But if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for choosing Circle of Traders as the one and far most importantly legitimate Forex trading YouTube channel and the most Forex Institute in the world. So, like I said, the support Harlem, and we are going to be looking at our weekly trading outlook for the for the coming week on five P's. I think from the 25th up and until the 30th, I'm just not sure of the date. But before we get any further, all I ask of you guys, because I keep on adding value and giving you guys the gems and the knowledge that you need, I ask that you simply like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share the video, leave a comment, share to someone who will be more than welcome to view this video and to learn and to take something from these videos. Or if you want to be part of our CT Academy team, we're having three exclusive mentorship services. I'm going to leave my number, my Instagram account, and I'm a level that you can use to communicate with you and to get a hold with me. But at that further ado, we'll guys, let's hit the charts, let me share these gems, and let me make sure that you're having a wonderful trading week to end the month of November. So you guys can clearly know that our first pair, which is more than important, is the NASDAQ. So you can tell that structure is currently looking um i can maybe probably say bullish on the nest but you guys have to be mindful of one thing even though i say it's bullish right if we had to zoom in the charts you guys remember that price had this all-time high that was printed out right and from price printing out an all-time high price had a violation of that all-time high and later on price had a break below is racing all-time high so from a breakout and a break below and currently looking at our price you can clearly see that price is just moving inward in a type of like bullish um behavior structure right price is creating highs and high lows so just to keep things simple with you guys for the next trading week all we're going to be working on or all i can be looking for is to just simply look for continuations to the upside long as price is still trading above this very same um 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 um, all-time high resistance for getting this current one right we're using the previous one oh let me just say you can tell that price has been creating highs price has been creating highs and price has been creating highs you can tell we've been having violations on having high the price has printed out or price has created all we can simply do is to just look for continuations to the upside once price violates this what this current high do you guys get that or if price trades below then i guess it have to be bearish but we're simply waiting for confirmation because we're not sure of what can happen or what we are seeing at the moment second so pair will be gold so you guys can clearly see that our structure on gold is very bullish right and we did share a video if you haven't watched that recent video about how price about um how many setups you could have capitalized on for this week on gold because we did share on our previous outlook you can also go check it out that price is trading above some previous higher low right so with price holding the previous higher low we now anticipate a bullish direction based on what price creating this high violating price creating a high violating a price creating highs violating highs creating highs violating highs creating highs and violating highs so you guys remember that our structure was bearish right price was creating what lower lows and lower highs because when you clearly see that this was our lower low this was our lower low this was our lower low this was our lower high this was our lower high and this was our lower high so you can now see that with structure being this bullish and with price trading above this previous lower high now that we're still waiting for confirmation it will be mainly based on what we are looking for based on price having this previous word this previous lower high that was violated on our current price all we now can anticipate is to just look forward for continuations to the upside based on what based on price trading above our previous lower high or let me just say price is still holding our our bullish structure as we violate previous lower highs we still look to continue bullish or as we create new highs and violate those new highs we still look to continue bullish but not to confuse you guys was to say much we're simply waiting for confirmation to see what is going to happen what do we do we slide to the to the dead pain which is usd cad so usd cad guys um um usd cad might um be one of the like 
tradable setups or tradable pairs this week i would say because when you guys remember that price had this higher high and from price creating this higher high we started pushing to the downside right you can tell with this momentum candlestick and this momentum candlesticks continuing to the downside but from price holding this intraday support zone price has been reacting on this intraday support so all i can say is before we continue you can tell that price has pushed to the downside and price has been reacting on our support if it happens that now price is holding support and we get a violation and continue to the downside then we can gradually look for for continuations to the downside but now because price is holding support if it happens that price trades above support and gives us a fail to break below or to violate that support then i guess we can look forward for those moves to the upside but without further ado we're still waiting for confirmation to see what is going to happen do you guys get there fourth pay will be tesla fourth pay i mean will be tesla so tesla i can confidently say that we simply don't have a trade idea because we did anticipate a continuation to the upside if price had reacted above our certain zone or if price had reacted below we're going to anticipate continuations to the downside but you now can see that if i had to start here price had a higher high higher low and a massive push higher high higher low and now we're on our world, our new higher high all we can now say is that we might anticipate what continuations to the upside on tesla just to be just to be quite frank with you guys we might anticipate continuations to the upside on tesla following our behavior and our structure but we don't have a trade idea so what do we do from there we move right last but not least we're having bitcoin so before i start on bitcoin if anyone still asks me on my comment section on my instagram dm on my whatsapp or on my telegram what is gonna what is bitcoin gonna do from where it is or will bitcoin reach hundred thousand dollar mark all i can say is yes right why do i say that because price at this resistance price at the support we did do it we eventually did what from price having resistance and support we eventually had a break above our resistance meaning price had continued moving to the upside so now that you can tell that price at this all-time high okay let me just do this price at this um price has actually because this is current price right price has, has this um 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 higher high that has that has printed out so all i now want to make you guys understand all i want to break down to you guys is with price having this higher high and this intraday pullback if it happens that price violates our higher high then we can anticipate what continuations to the upside based on what higher high higher low higher high right but if price doesn't give us any reaction on those very same highs then i guess we can anticipate those possible moves to the downside but i say we're waiting for confirmation to simply see that from the two anticipations that we have which is going to play out before we put our money to work but in conclusion bitcoin will reach 100k bitcoin will reach 100k bitcoin will reach 100k do you guys get that so this will be our weekly trading outlook for the coming week this will be what we'll be willing to put our money to, to work on if you're new to our channel i repeat this is what we share every weekend just to prepare ourselves for the next trading week not saying you have to strictly take this into account but look at what you're looking at based on how you approach the markets and see what you see based on how you approach the markets. Fix what you can fix, use what we can use and work on what you have so you can better your so you can better yourself and so you can excel as a trading as a as a forex trader. But without further ado, hope you guys stay blessed, hope you guys prepare, and I hope you guys do all that's important so you can win the next trading week. But without further ado, to support Harlem and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video.